Welcome to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. In uh, today's video, we are going to update our analysis for gold and silver and see uh, where exactly the the prices are supposed to be heading and uh, which way is impulsive and which way is corrective behavior. Uh, please remember that this is a swing training trading analysis. Uh, I'm not looking at a 15 minute chart analysis. We are looking for a major swing like like we have seen one right over here. So we are looking for a major swing like this one. First of all, in my previous analysis, I did indicate that we were expecting that this is, a, we were seeing that this is an impulsive wave and a corrective wave. Uh, we were expecting for the correction to go reverse because of the top right over here, but we have seen that the correction has actually continued. The good thing is that the price action from the top right over here is not impulsive. We can clearly see uh, that the, the angle of the, uh, the price movement from the top is uh, totally compli about you know uh, close to 90 degrees 75 degree and this one is more uh, shallower giving us an indication that the bearish trend is actually running out of the train so right now I'm considering this whole price movement as an impulsive movement as in this one is corrective I believe that we are very very close to the completion of correction and we shall be heading upward when I mean upward uh, that what does that mean that we're going down over here or down over here or over here or what else First of all, give me an indicator. Just give me uh, some time, and I want to clear a lot of. Uh, so a lot of time, what happens when prices come out of the price action, and they tend to re retest the area. Please do understand that this time is going to happen, but uh, we are not sure whether this price movement is yet complete or not. All right. So we need to understand that the price movement is yet complete or not. We need to understand that. Unless that uh, price movement is over, we cannot say that the price would come down to retest the previous structure. So that this price has to run out its course uh, before we can say that the price will come down back and retest the previous structure. So that the important point right over here is that per my analysis, uh, we have not run out of this trend yet. And a major, major price movement upward is expected. I'm expecting a price jump of uh, about 200 to 600 dollars per ounce in next uh, three to four weeks yes you have heard me right i'm expecting the price of gold to go up from 200 to 400 dollar maybe 600 dollars per ounce that is uh, right now it's 1950 so we're expecting for the price of uh, gold from anywhere from 2300 to dollars to 26 2600 dollars per ounce and i believe that when we have reached that area uh, we look at the wave analysis and that time a major uh, or a good uh, l correction uh, should be expected but that's too early to say first of all on an hourly time frame we can see uh, that we need to come out of this uh, support zone that will be our confirmation signal that we have seen in the bottom forming so it the price action can go a little further down there's no guarantee that this is the point actually there is none guarantee uh, all we need to wait is for, for the confirmation and that the confirmation should actually break this support line as soon as the support line is broken, we can see that the, we have seen a bottom right over here. And also, when the bottom is in decay is broken, that's, please understand that the important support or the reference point should be 1915 right over here, not this one right over here. All right. So we are because you're looking for a major jump, a lot of volatility uh, that we have been seeing in gold has not died out; it just slowed down. Uh, in uh, probably a day or two, we'll soon start seeing the, the volatility coming back. So huge uh, price movements expected uh, is expected in gold and silver. Therefore, please understand that your position size should reflect that. All right. So one thing is this. Let me see if we can bring uh, daily time frame analysis. So as uh, we spend more time on the on the price action, we'll be able to give a, a definite target for f for this one. I believe that if one reaches this target or the higher target, then a major reversal should come, right? And that's as I said, it's too early to say that. We do need to understand that we have actually crossed. Uh, we came up. The price is reflected off of a previous top. I mentioned in the previous uh, video as well. So this is the previous top, and the price has bounced off that area. So this is an important point also need to understand that on a monthly time frame we can actually probably see uh, this is the the top this is the previous top this one right over here and this is the most recent top that we see saw a year and a half ago 
So we can see that the price is still bouncing above 1913 area. That's why I was giving you guys an indication that 1913 is extremely, extremely important. That will be indication that the whole region was negated. All right. So right now we are in that region. We have a not only a four hourly time frame. We can see that there is a one top forming right over here too. So we have definitely broken this support line, giving another indication that this structure that actually started right from over here is complete. I'm talking about uh, this support line, all right? We can clearly see that the support line got broken. Does that mean that the impulsive move is complete? There, at, it's complete at this degree. So we are considering it as a impulsive wave, and this is a corrective wave. As soon as the support line that's covering our uh, last leg of the correction i believe that's the last leg as soon as you see the uh, the prices cross that area there'll be first indication if you want to be a little more sure that's the next target and the next target right over here when prices are going to cross 2015 there will be definite indication that we have completed a correction but i think the more closer one will be a better one a bag will give us a better entry point and once again the reference point for above price movement the bullish price movement should be 1913 1914 area Silver is also a uh, similar analysis. You're expecting uh, for the prices to go along. You are thinking that this is a corrective, pre, uh, corrective pattern. And we're still looking at it, the correct, corrective pattern. The only thing is that only we have only seen W of the correction and X of the correction. And this right now, we are going through Y of the correction. And w one will, uh, once, how will we know uh, that the correction is complete? Once again, that we need to understand that the trend uh, line that's actually occupying for the this particular line should be broken in this case We have a better trend line as compared to this one uh, right now So I think that the trend line is covering the whole correction a break of this trend line will be a better uh, Idea that we have completed the correction. So any break of this uh, Support line that's actually covering the trend line will be an indication that we are actually going upward. So once again, I'm bullish on the um, um, Gold and silver both and the max major run I'm expecting in silver should be very strong. I'm talking about seven eight dollars price movement in the price of silver. So major uh, price push up is expected, and that's expected to happen not in months, uh, like six months or eight months or four months. I'm expecting that it, that should take place anywhere from three weeks to four weeks, or maybe five weeks at at most. So we're expecting a major price movement, and uh, we'll discuss more after we have seen. A major price movement in gold and silver wish you good luck with your trading come join me on my patreon which is patreon.com forward slash elliot wave green